another video. I shoot another video, upload it, try, and somehow there are still few subscribers, there are few comments. I'm going to shoot this video anyway. Here is another series of repairs of my battery, and see what we get. The know-how that I said in the previous series, namely we were looking, we were looking. Our labors turned out to be a little bit stupid in terms of the fact that we did not find the first generation fit. Please have a three. And the first one is not there. Well, after consulting and coming to a consensus, it turned out as follows. We still put a three and started checking it all. Visually, all of these boards are the same. There are some details that differ in color, but the nominal value is the same. It was decided to install the third generation of Bimpishti. By the way, while the rarity is being induced, you can subscribe. And we put it on the battery in order to check it, because the indications are indications, checking the Bimpishka is one thing, but how His Majesty Tesla will accept it remains a mystery. We started to collect another day of Pesheka this Pritulili, it became. Just the lads are now inserting all the modules into the penthouse. We will check. The main thing is that Tesla's brains are accepted, understood, updated, shown and checked. Installing the penthouse modules. I didn't bring you any trouble, everything became fine, connected normally. We started to collect all the piles, all the contact groups. Well, so as not to wet the horns ahead of time, do not engage in gluing the battery once again. Fortunately, at the biological one, where I serve, the lads have extension cords, let's say. Connections of the contact groups of the car itself and the battery, they connected everything and we started checking. The check also, by the way, brought its own surprises. Let's take a look further with you. And so we started connecting everything. Everything went great. The typewriter has only one mistake left, which was, accordingly, it is necessary to connect diagnostics, reset the error, and show her that everything is normal, we have changed your peak, and you should work well. It can be seen from the cells here, there are no errors. You can see the run-up in the cells, but it's really small. They started dumping. Everything has reset perfectly. It's okay. We will collect the battery. And then, a little embarrassment. Tesla got in touch with its server, and the server says shoot you Tesla, I had a problem with the battery. Kindly take care of the battery. And the error popped up again. The run-up at the moment was 30 millivolts. We planned to balance each module anyway, and it would have been decided to do a full balancing of all modules in order to reach an almost perfect one. We already thought that Tesla didn't like this run-up either. The situation was unclear. How many times have they been reset? How many times have they tried? Everything worked out, and the error went away, and the car started, and the wheels spun. But all the same, as soon as she goes online, only communicates with her server, again the same power limitation error, a charge of 126 kilometers. In general, such a misfortune. We started to drain all these modules here, and charge them. There is a simple way, where is the light bulb, where is the charger? 
In general, we balanced it, at the moment we got out there in the area of 10 millivolts. It turns out a run-up in modules. I think it's quite normal. Moreover, the Basachka works, the Biempishka works. She pulls everything up by herself, then balances, and we started checking the BMS. And now the BMS turned out to be a clear problem for us. One of the operatives did not understand what went wrong, then somehow. Well, now the master will tell you, it turns out, well, this is yours. This is what you have read now, this is what Vlad is the last, well, what is not Vlad, that we are trying to fill in now, and we have a problem here in this there should be 40, and 48 is read from the microcircuit. Well, I write down 40, and read 48 anyway, so well, this is it. And he has the culprit with us. Well, the beast well does not write the chip, it turns out I can't. Here, this is what the right thing is called, EPROM. How? Her? Well, EPROM memory, and PROM, 25640. Well, it stores information in BM. Well, what Vlad did, we have fallen, and we will change. We changed this spare part on the BNUS. And look at this, this is the reading plate that showed me the case when I arrived before the repair. I had 65 and 3 kilowatts remaining on the battery. They changed it, flashed a new program, and the program now showed, Tesla recalculated, that I have 74 and 9 kilowatts in the battery. We will try. When the car is assembled, to charge, to discharge. Interestingly, this indicator is 74, and 9 will remain her thanks to everyone. Subscribe so as not to miss the next episode. Goodbye. This, this is the reading plate that showed me the case when I arrived before the repair. I had 65 and 3 kilowatts remaining on the battery. They changed it, flashed a new program, and the program now showed, Tesla recalculated, that I have 74 and 9 kilowatts in the battery. We will try, when the car is assembled, to charge, to discharge. Interestingly, this indicator is 74, and 9 will remain her thanks to everyone. Subscribe so as not to miss the next episode. Goodbye.